Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Sport Track Touring Edition 343 VBH. The Touring Edition takes Sport Track's already beautiful travel trailers and steps them up to another level. You get some nicer amenities in here. And I absolutely love this floor plan as well. The 343 is very well laid out, bath and a half floor plan, big outside kitchen. I think you're going to love it. We'll actually start right here on the kitchen. And one of the things you can see right away is that they go from the thermofoil countertops to the true solid surface. So absolutely gorgeous, very durable. Of course, that allows you to undermount the stainless steel bowl here. You'll see the modern high-rise pull-out faucet. And over to the side is the recessed three burner cooktop. Now, of course, this is a glass cover, so that way you can utilize all this as prep space. You also see the nice backsplash they have here. You can turn off that blue LED light if you so choose, but I think it kind of coordinates with the knobs. This cover does, of course, just fold up and back like so, kind of doubles as a backsplash, gives you access to the three burners. That front one is high output, and underneath is an oven if you want to do some baking. Now over to the side here, you have this little guy drops down, good for a sponge. And you will see you have three full extension ball bearing drawers. You'll also see your drying racks here, so you can put those on top of the sink. That way you can actually utilize that as prep space too. Uh, right in the back corner here, again, you get this nice big open area, but what you'll see is there's an electrical outlet right up top. So that way you have kind of a spot to plug in a coffee maker there. Storage directly above that, I'll open it up to show you there is a divider already built in, which is nice, or a shelf rather I should say. And then right over here you have like a tech box, which is a super convenient spot where you can store your cell phones, uh, you know, they can charge there, that way it's not cluttering up the countertop. I'll open this up for you too, so you can take a look, see that big extra storage area, perfect for your pots and pans. And while we're over here, I'll hit this as well, as soon as you walk in, you have a coat closet, which I like. You can put some shoes right there on the bottom if you want. Probably just, you know, the primary ones, the ones you're gonna wear out most often. Then your controls are basically right here. Your slide controls, some of your lights. Power awning is there too. Coming back into the kitchen, Norcold fridge freezer combo. Open that guy up for you so you can take a look at the space. As you'd expect, that one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. They didn't waste any space underneath. You'll see the nice big drawer there. And right next to that is the half bath. So if you walk back here with me, you can take a look. You'll see this one is a porcelain bowl, meaning that it's gonna stay uh, cleaner. It's easier to clean rather, and it'll stay looking nicer for longer. As far as the space, uh, I'm gonna be honest, it, it is a little tight. You know, they, they obviously tried to, to make it work with the floor plan. Uh, I'd probably have to, you know, kind of put my elbow up here because otherwise right here it's pretty tight. And then when you, the door is closed, you kind of have to shift the legs a little bit as well. So it's definitely something you can make work, but you know, if you're gonna be here for uh, an extended period of time, you'll probably wanna use the other bath up front. However, if you just have to come in real quick, you know, do your business and head right back out, this is the perfect place to do it. You have this secondary entrance there, which is great, that way you're not bringing mud and dirt through the entire camper. And then of course you have your vanity off to the side, the big stainless steel bowl, which I like, electrical outlet, mirrored medicine cabinet up top. Vent fan there too, and of course you have an LED light there uh, in case you know you need to use it at night. It does come with the picture frame, something minor, but hey, you know, just a nice little extra feature. Underneath, or rather behind that, you will see good additional storage. Now, personally, I'd probably use this, uh, you know, kind of as a mixture of things. You can either use it for some kids' clothes, but it's not super deep. You might want to put like some hand towels and things like that in for the half bath. As we step into the bunk room, you'll see that this is a quad bunk, which for everything else we have going on, I think it's pretty amazing. They were able to fit four bunks back here. You have the slide out with the drop down bunk. So, uh, you know, of course that just locks right up top. That way as you're sitting on the sofa here, you know, even at six foot, you can see I'm not hitting my head, which is nice. So if you have, you know, some taller or teen kids, you don't have to worry about it. The jackknife sofa, of course, drops down into a bed. The thing I love about the jackknife is all the storage you get underneath, including a perfect spot for the table. You'll see that sets up right here. So if the kids wanna sit back here and have a meal or play a game, you have the capability to do that as well. Of course, the window there behind me to let in some natural light, it's also an emergency exit. If you want TV, this is where it's located, which I personally like because that way all the kids' heads can be at one end and everyone can watch TV at the same time. 
On the other side are your, uh, your two bunks. The top bunk is larger than the bottom one here. So you can see that's nice and wide. You have a built-in ladder. Now, it only it's kind of short, right? It didn't go all the way down to the floor, but the reason for that is because you have an access panel. And if you drop that all the way down, it wouldn't be very good access. So that's why it's a little bit shorter. Uh, again, your fourth bunk there. Storage underneath, good spot, you know, for maybe some dirty clothes, something like that. A couple drawers here to pull those out to give you an idea of size. Also, you have USB ports in both the top and bottom bunk, which is great, plus some LED lights. Also, if we take a look behind the door, open that up, storage up top, and you have a hanging rod underneath, or hanging rack there. I, I actually really enjoy the fact they do that because a lot of times in bunk houses, they don't. You just don't have a spot to hang up kids' clothes, and I personally hang up uh, you know, the kids' clothes quite a bit, especially the shirts, so I like they're able to do it. Right over here to this side is the super slide. We'll start off with the dinette. So as far as size, can quite easily sit four people here. I have a decent amount of space for my torso to the table. Uh, and then, you know, more than enough for my legs here. You know, the table's not sitting right on top of my legs or anything like that. The table does drop down into a bed if you need some additional sleeping space, but it won't be big enough for most adults. Underneath, you will see storage. Now, I really like this. I know it's something super simple, but the fact that it comes with it, so you don't have to try to find one that fits in there is super convenient. And the fact you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to access the storage just makes it that much better. And then as we move, uh, make our way back toward the front, so where a lot of your uh, base level, I guess if you will, or normal sport treks will have a jackknife sofa. In the Touring, we move up into the Trifold, and it's a very, very comfortable sofa here. The thing I really like about it though is you can fold this out into a bed where two adults can comfortably sleep. So if you plan on having some you know, other guests and the bunk room is full, this is an excellent spot for them. Plus, as you can see, you have a great view here to the TV. Behind that, you kind of have that accent wall, like that uh, shiplap look, I like that too. A Little bit of storage underneath, as well as your multimedia center there. You can see a little bit on the other side. Underneath that is your fireplace. The thing I like about that is not only does it look cool, but it is also a space heater. So on a chillier day like today, you know, you probably don't need to run the propane because it's not quite below freezing, but uh, you know, if it's uh, 40 degrees out or so, and you just want to turn that guy on, it'll do a decent job of heating up this space as you're sitting here watching TV. If we move into the bathroom, so here is your master bath. Again, porcelain foot flush lever toilet, and this one, as I mentioned, because of the way it's angled, Definitely have more room here. Plenty of leg room, pretty good on my shoulders here as well. Directly in front of me is the sink top and vanity. Again, stainless steel bowl there, electrical outlet, tank monitoring panel. It's always good to know where that's at. And then you have the Level Mate Pro right here. So what this is, is you can actually uh, connect this RV to your cell or your smartphone via Bluetooth. And the cool thing about this is it kind of lets you know when your RV is level. So it's good on a couple of uh, counts. The thing I really like about it is as you're backing into the campsite, it'll kind of tell you the most level spot of the campsite. And then, you know, once you find that and you block it up, this will help make sure that the RV is level, uh, you know, without having to bring in your own level and put it in the refrigerator and all that. So it is just a little bit more convenient system. You will see the mirrored medicine cabinet right up top and the Neo Angle shower. The doors are on a roller track, helping to keep the water inside. And as far as height, again, folks, I'm six foot, more than enough room to the ceiling, especially with that skylight. I mean, I could be six five and still shower in here without having to bend down, which is pretty fantastic. When we step up into the master bedroom, there are two entrances and exits, one directly into the master bath, the other one into the hall leading into the living area. Now, what you'll notice right away is the fact you do have a slide out in here, and in that slide is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So not only do you have tall ceiling heights, tall showers, but if you're a taller person, chances are your feet aren't going to hang off in here, which when you're camping is, uh, you know, definitely a bonus. If we take a look underneath, you will see some additional storage there. It is strut assisted, so it's easy to access. Just like we had behind the entertainment center, again, you will see the accent wall there, kind of for the headboard, a window as well. A little bit of storage up top. And then at the very nose, you get this kind of big storage area, which I like. So you have a couple of drawers here, also wardrobes on both sides. Plus right up top, you have electrical outlets and these little stands. So if you need to plug something in up there, you can. And the big, beautiful front windshield, which lets in a lot of natural light and really makes it look sharp from outside. And again, you have that accent paneling up front. 
at the foot of the bed, this is actually pretty cool. Let me uh, shut this door so you can kind of take a look. So whereas most just have a dresser, here you actually have a fireplace. And the thing I like about this is they, add, they lifted it up so that when you're in bed, you can still see it and kind of get that ambience. Uh, and you know, again, I just, I think it's a great move. And in a space this size, this little bedroom, this will do a very good job of keeping the bedroom nice and toasty. So I do like that. You'll also see storage all the way underneath as you would expect. And if you want a TV in the bedroom, you're not left out. There is a spot to mount it right there and the appropriate connections for that are up on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Sport Trek Touring Edition 343 VBH. Up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also have a light on there as well as a manual override in the rare event the motor fails. Behind that are two 30 pound propane tanks with the larger cover. You will also see rails for your battery as well as a battery disconnect. Right up front, you get a true front cap. You can also see that big windshield I showed you in the bedroom looks absolutely beautiful. LED lights inlaid in there. And the thing I love about a front cap is not only does it add some insulation value, but also it wraps around, meaning that there's less chance that water is going to penetrate the front of your RV. And for me, that is a pretty big deal. You have solar prep here on the side if you want solar, small little pass through there. Right down underneath, you will see your power stabilizer jacks. Cool thing about this, folks, is you have a control for each jack. Normally, one control operates both of them. This gives you more independent control. Making my back a little bit further, you will see the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in. You have LED lights on there as well for light at night. You'll see frameless windows on the Touring Edition, which is wonderful. Nine of those look great, but also because of the way they open, they basically tilt open. It allows you to have them open while it's raining, as long as it's not like a sideways rain, so that way it doesn't get stuffy inside. Also, the seals are better protected because they are tucked behind the glass. Making our way back a little bit further, you get into your primary entrance. Because it is the main entrance, you get the upgraded More Ride Step Above Steps. These are fantastic. As you can see, I'm over 200 pounds. I can walk up and down here, and the steps hardly flex. You also have aluminum treads, which don't rust, and you have the grip tape on there for added traction, plus the foldable grab handle, which gives you better control when entering or exiting the RV. Right here on the side is your bottle opener. Super convenient. They painted it now, so that way it won't rust on you. Also, just like the sticker says, this one has the weather shield, is what they call it which essentially means this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and forced air heated underbelly. So that will help keep out some of the road grime, hopefully some of the rodents in the off season, as well as keep things warmer in colder climates. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have city water, you'll want to make sure to fill the fresh water tank and that'll be the place to do it. And if you take a look right down below, you'll see the aluminum alloy wheels, which again, the aluminum doesn't rust, they'll stay looking great for a while. You will also see here, Outside electrical outlet, need to plug anything in, that's the place to do it. And the entrance to the half bath is back here. Now this one, they just did your standard fold out steps, but I do like the fact that they still give you the aluminum tread, so it is still an upgraded step system. Have the grip tape on there too. And then in the very back here is the outside kitchen slash entertainment area. Take a look at this folks, this one's gorgeous. So you have storage right up top here on both sides. You'll also see the TV there in the center. Speakers, if you want to jam out to some music, you do have a blue light that shines right back there. Multimedia center. Open this up for you. You will see your sink there, as well as your faucet. This one has a two burner cooktop on it. And my favorite part, of course, is this guy. You have your outside refrigerator for your condiments and beverages. And again, right down here are two more controls for those rear power stabilizer jacks. Bear in mind, folks, it's not auto level, it's power stabilizer. You still want to level the coach out, but you do have that level made inside I talked about so you can connect it via Bluetooth, making it a little bit easier. Then as we take a look at the back, you will see here, square tubular bumper. That way you have a spot so you can conveniently store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is your cargo rack. This is wonderful. It's a great, uh, great bike carrier, or if you want to put some totes on there, firewood, coolers. That allows you to do it, and because it comes from the manufacturer, even though there's something mounted to the bumper, it's not going to void the warranty. Tucked behind there, you will see not one, but two black tank flushes, because this one does have two bathrooms, therefore you have two black tanks, and you're able to flush out both of them without having to stick a hose down a toilet. 
You'll see the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Also backup camera prep, making it easier to uh, connect a backup camera, therefore saving you money on labor. Last thing I want to touch on right in the back here is your cable and satellite inlet right over on the off camp side. Right in between your two rear slides, you will see your 50 amp detachable power cord inlet, your city water inlet, and an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And then right down below that, you will see one of two terminations. As we make our way up the side, as you can see, there are three slides here on the off camp side. So right in between the front two slides is where your second termination is located. And then as we make our way to the very front slide, you will see that big extra storage area there underneath the bed. That is a shared space, but it gives you access from both inside and outside. And lastly, I did just want to show you the pass-through because I forgot to do it originally. So just to kind of give you an idea what the pass-through space looks like, there you go. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Sport Trek Touring Edition 343 VBH. If you're interested in this beautiful travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.